color guard. Ante, jump, forward, march, counter mark, march. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled Shoulder, arms, ready, two, more time, march, close range, march, forward, march. Hello, I'm Dr. Bob Buckley, the director of the Captain James A. Lovell Federal Health Care Center, and I'd like to welcome each of you to the virtual ribbon cutting for the Lovell Federal Health Care Center's Tramway Mural. This highlights our 10th anniversary as the nation's only fully integrated federal health care center. Caring for veterans alongside of service members, military family members, and staff in support of both the Department of Veterans Affairs and the Department of Defense. I'm really happy to dedicate this stunning work of art created by veteran patients, FHCC staff, and community muralists this past summer. While socially distancing themselves, wearing their masks, and taking the other appropriate COVID precautions. Uh, I'd also like to thank the Brushwood Center for partnering with us and coordinating with our FHCC Recreational Therapy Department to make this possible. Uh, I'd also like to thank the McCormick Foundation and the Illinois Department of Veterans Affairs for providing funding for this project. At least 15 creative arts therapy patients were involved from start to finish with the help of several FHCC staff, some of them veterans themselves, including Ms. Letty Knight and Mr. Romney Dodd. Thank you to the recreational therapist, Elizabeth Lacombe, for overseeing this project from the first brainstorming sessions. Um, thank you too to our FHCC nurse artist extraordinaire, Ms. Michelle Franklin, uh, who's, who had had a vision for painting this mural in our tramway. It's an area of high traffic where many, many staff and patients will be able to see this uh, beautiful work of art. The mural itself depicts the history of Lovell uh, based on its namesake astronaut and retired Navy Captain James A. Lovell, who is our Apollo and Gemini mission uh, commander, all the way up to the present day operations. We're honored that Captain James A. Lovell was able to be with us recently 
here at Lovell itself uh, to see the mural and help us dedicate it for this 10th anniversary. Thank you again for letting me open this virtual ceremony uh, with these opening remarks and I'm in awe of the incredible talent that we have and that went into this beautiful work of art. I think a lot of people will enjoy this for many, many years to come. So I uh, hope you enjoy this program. The Captain James A. Lovell Federal Health Care Center is a first-of-its-kind partnership between the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs and the Department of Defense, bringing together all medical care of veterans, military members, and their family members into a fully integrated federal health care facility with a single combined VA and Navy mission in Northeast Illinois and Southeast Wisconsin. The facility was named after local resident James A. Lovell, a Gemini and Apollo astronaut and a retired Navy captain whose pioneering space missions aligned with the spirit of the new one-of-a-kind FHCC. Established in 1911, Naval Station's Great Lakes grew rapidly through World War I. The Great Lakes and Fort Sheridan hospitals were crucial during the Spanish flu epidemic and the wars that followed. The North Chicago VAMC opened for business in 1926. Built in 1960, Building 200H was originally the Naval Station Great Lakes Hospital before it closed its doors for good when the integrated Lovell FHCC opened in 2010. In the past 10 years, the FHCC has continued to grow and expand services and further integrate Navy and VA processes and cultures. The FHCC opened the first and only caregiving support center in the VA in 2011, partnered with Lake County to form a Veterans Treatment Assistance Court program in 2011, and renovated the Community Living Center in 2012. The FHCC built and opened four greenhouse homes for long-term nursing care expanded the Kenosha Community-Based Outpatient Clinic in 2013, opened a walk-in center for homeless veterans in 2013, created a partnership with Stroger Cook County Hospital for hospital corpsman trauma training, expanded the McHenry Community-Based Outpatient Clinic in a new building in 2015, and renovated and opened and expanded hematology and oncology and wound care clinic. The Lovell FHCC serves more than 100,000 patients, including about 44,000 new Navy recruits annually. This new mural celebrates the history of Lovell FHCC as we strive to provide the best care to veterans, service members, and their families for many years to come. Hello to all my friends at the Captain James Lovell Federal Health Care Center. I hope you're all safe and well. Congratulations. Imagine this. Ten years. This achievement is a testament to a lot of hard work, dedication and commitment of everyone serving our veterans, service members, and their families. I'm proud to have been involved in the first of its kind partnership between the VA and the Department of Defense. There were a number of growing pains and challenges years ago between what was then the Great Lakes Naval Clinic and the North Chicago VA. And it just made sense to me that the Navy and VA could work together for the patients and communities and do it more efficiently. And who better to name this new joint facility after than the famous Captain James Lovell, a Navy pilot who journeyed twice to the moon. I understand the new mural on the Lovell Tramway celebrates this 10th anniversary by showing a depiction of this life's journey, as well as the other groundbreaking work you've all done. During these past months in particular, where our nation faces unprecedented challenges, I can think of no better way to bring people together than through the service and care you provide on a daily basis, as well as the healing power that you bring to the effort that you exert. So thank you all to the staff at Level FHCC, to our service members, our vets, and their families, you're on the front line of bravely serving and defending this nation. 
And as we celebrate this historic milestone today, I look forward to continuing to work alongside you as we build on this success for the next 10 years and even beyond. Congratulations again. Hello, everyone. I'm sorry we couldn't all be together today, but I want to extend my sincere congratulations to Lovell Federal Health Center on their brand new mural wall commemorating the 10th anniversary of being a fully integrated VA and DOD healthcare facility. The mural depicts a service of the healthcare workers at Lovell, marks the namesakes of the facility, American astronaut Captain Jim Lovell, and beautifully honors our nation's heroes. This tribute is a testament to the healing power of the arts, particularly in such uncertain times. It will make an excellent addition to Lovell's tramway, and I hope to see it myself soon. So congratulations once more to Lovell Federal Health Care Center, and thank you, all of my fellow veterans, for your selfless service and the countless sacrifices that you've made. God bless you all. God bless our troops in harm's way. And always, God bless America. Thank you. Hi. For those who don't know me, I'm Congressman Brad Schneider, and I have the great privilege of representing the Captain James A. Lovell Federal Health Care Center. I am so proud to serve the first of its kind and first in class partnership between the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs and the Department of Defense, integrating all medical care into a federal health care facility with a single combined VA and Navy mission. Today, I just want to congratulate the Lovell community on your beautiful new mural. The pictures I have seen depict stunning representations of the Apollo Gemini missions, Captain Lovell himself, and the critical life-saving care that the Lovell FHCC provides. I can't wait to see it in person. I so look forward to when we can reunite in person, share our stories, and the hugs of our friends. In the meantime, I know everyone at Lovell is doing all they can to beat back the virus and keep your patients and our community safe. As always, if you ever need anything from me, my office, or the federal government, do not hesitate to reach out and ask us to help. Congratulations again as we celebrate your new work of community art. My name is Linda Chapolivia, and I'm the director of the Illinois Department of Veterans Affairs. On the 10th anniversary of the James A. Level Federal Healthcare Center, I'd like to congratulate the staff and volunteers for the incredible service you provide to our community. By improving the lives of veterans, active duty service members, and their families, you uphold the commitment of our country to care for those who have put everything on the line to fight for our freedoms. Additionally, I'd like to applaud you for your holistic approach to caring for veterans by addressing both the body and mind. Too often, the unique mental health care needs of veterans are overlooked, leading to preventable tragedies like suicide, addiction, and homelessness. I'm thinking most notably of our combat veterans and the invisible wounds of war. Art therapy grants a means of expression to heal when words are simply not possible. It also provides an avenue for the public to understand the sacrifices our soldiers and the consequence of sending them to war. This beautiful mural is a fine example of this approach. Thank you to Brushwood Center, David Motley, Everett Reynolds, and program participants for making such good use of veteran grant cash. You are all on the front lines of this public health crisis. And I cannot express my gratitude enough for your work that you do every day. Thank you for including me in your program today and God bless. Good afternoon. I am Katherine Game, Executive Director of Brushwood Center at Ryerson Woods. Thank you to Senator Durbin, Senator Duckworth, Congressman Schneider, and Director Chapalavia for your congratulatory words of support. Brushwood Center was thrilled to partner on this mural, which was a true team effort from the beginning. Brushwood Center's mission is to promote the importance of nature for nurturing well-being, cultivating creativity, and inspiring learning. Typically, we collaborate with Level's recreational therapy team to offer photography and art programs off-site here at Brushwood Center. But now, as we all know, this year is anything but typical. Planning for the mural began before COVID, but the process of creating during this crisis is part of what makes the story of this project so beautiful. 
Artists Everett Reynolds and David Motley teamed up with 15 veterans, as well as the level staff, to design and paint the mural. I remember in April, as COVID raged across the country, we were on Zoom calls, sketching out the design of the mural, debating the best way to tell the story of this special place. And then the painting began, with masks and social distancing, of course. The mural celebrates Level's 10th anniversary, but it also stands as a testament to the power of creativity and collaboration to raise us out of our darkest moments. I'd like to thank again the project funders, Illinois Department of Veteran Affairs Cash Grant and the McCormick Foundation. Without you, this project would not have been possible. And at this time, I'd like to welcome the lead artists on the project, Everett Reynolds and David Motley. Hello there, my name is David Motley. And I'm Everett Reynolds. And we're here today to talk to you a little bit about the process of uh, painting this mural and working with the so uh, very talented and amazing staff and veteran residents of this facility. We had an amazing time working with the community to tell this story, uh, working with all of the artists to help create it and design it uh, with the expertise of Everett. Yes, it was such a, such a great time working with the community here at Lovell. Everybody was very welcoming, and it was a joy working with everybody here. Uh, as far as the process of, of creating the mural, it was important for us to communicate with the community, with the residents, get their input into what they wanted in a mural, um, have them heard, and have it displayed in something that's theirs. So that was very important for us. For us. Um, and it's just a big process of, of community healing and community building as well. And to that end, we know that arts are a powerful tool for healing and uh, community building. So it makes it even uh, more of an opportunity and we're very thankful for to be part of this amazing process with all of the partners and the visionary steps that needed to be done, uh, especially during COVID. Uh, this is a monumental task. Yes, and to be able to bring everyone together in a time like this is very important. Uh, you know, following all the, the restrictions and stuff, wearing masks and being sanitary, it was very important for us to still be able to bring everybody together and still be able to allow people to heal through art and bring a community and spread positivity uh, throughout this mural. And it was very important for us to uh, say thank you to everybody that was involved. Um, and. The, all the partners that was involved as well. We are very grateful for the opportunity. Thank you. And as a visual artist and arts advocate uh, based in Waukegan, Illinois, I think it's a very important a milestone uh, to help create this mural here in North Chicago at the healthcare facility uh, in honor of Captain James A. Lovell. Yes, thanks again for the opportunity. And thank you, everyone that was involved. Thank you. Hi, my name's Romney. I'm a United States Navy veteran, combat veteran. Um, I have 34 years of federal service, and I enjoyed working on the mural project because it allowed me to give back something to um, the FHCC, where I'm also an employee, um, and to show uh, how far we've come in the 10 years that we've been a federal uh, health care center, and to also um, represent all of the good work that we've done here and uh, all of the good things that we do to take care of our beneficiaries. I'd say that um, I love art and I love participating in art projects. I'm uh, not the best painter, but I try. So I think that's probably a, a plus effort. <laughs> and um, I think what I got from it was being able to be there with other veterans and other um, artists and and work through a project. I really enjoyed working with the folks um, who were the true mural artist and learning from them and having the opportunity to just uh, get out there and do something different than what I do every day. So I really appreciate the opportunity and uh, I look forward to hopefully uh, filling more of the walls out in the tramway with beautiful murals. Hi, my name is Letty Knight. I'm one of the training specialists here at the FHCC. Um, I'm standing here in front of the mural here that was dedicated to uh, for uh, Captain James A. Lovell. It's got a history of the FHCC and uh, it's got a, an assortment of images up on the wall. 
Um, I was asked to do this mural. I've been in, uh, involved in other murals that we've done. Uh, there's three, there are three canvases outside of the mental health building in 133 EF, and they're about seven feet, and I contributed my time to those. So I, that I was asked to contribute uh, part of the paintings here for this mural. Um, I did a little bit of kind of jack of all trades, did, did different uh, projects on some of these, some of the paintings, but I just contributed my time along with uh, the actual mur muralist that was hired and other veterans that uh, donated their time. Um, and it came out great. Cap uh, Captain uh, Lovell actually did come and uh, see it, and he was very pleased with it. Um, and people were asking me, why do you paint? And I always tell them, you know, painting for me is, is more of a cathartic process. Uh, it, it alleviates a lot of stress uh, that, can, that I could kind of carry around with me, but um, it's really cathartic more for me and meditative. When I paint, I just get lost in what I'm doing. Um, sometimes I wear earphones, and it's just like, for me to go into that zone and just paint and be relaxed and know that I'm not gonna be disturbed and I can just let my mind go, it's really relaxing. Um, some people like to paint because for them, they'd rather paint something than verbally talk or communicate. Um, and for them, it's just a process of you know, meditative relaxation. And I understand that because I've been there. I've had times when I was really stressed out and painting for me just it takes all that away and I really enjoy it. I'm currently painting at home and I'm working on a couple projects. So um, hopefully in the future, we will be painting some more uh, murals here at the FACC, along with uh, other fellow artists here at the FACC and veterans. So I'm hoping that eventually we will uh, have another project coming out soon. Um, I did talk with Dr. Buckley, the director here, and he is very happy to hear that. And he wants to see more of this uh, displayed here at the FACC. Hey, a big happy 10th anniversary to the Captain James A. Lovell Federal Health Care Center. What a fitting way to commemorate the dedication of this mural and to do this on our 10th anniversary with Captain Lovell here with us. So let's take it away, Ms. Knight. Hey. Hey. All right. Captain Lovell, would you like to say a few words? Yeah, let me say just a few okay, words well, here because well, it's really nice in, in these, okay. these conditions. Uh, but Bob and the staff that's here, uh, it's my real pleasure to come here to recognize the 10th anniversary, the beginning of it, uh, of what we've done here. All during the time since this place has been built, I've heard nothing but praise of what you can do down here and what's happening here. Uh, it's, uh, it's kind of interesting to note that uh, uh, how this hospital and the VA center actually happened to get named after me. Because this is really a... Uh, 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 this is this is a pioneering, just like the space program was. This is the first time that we combine a uh, medical facility, a, a, a military facility, with a VA facility, and no one really knew whether this would work or not. And I can recall talking to Mark Kirk, who was instrumental in getting this facility started up here uh, when he was a congressman, and uh, he told me this interesting story. He, first of all, he said, Jim, he says, uh, you're, you're an old astronaut and you're sort of a pioneering and this is what we're doing here. Uh, I am going to suggest that this facility be named after you. And I said, well, gosh, that's, that's really nice. And so uh, he proceeded to, in Washington, D.C., he went over to the Secretary of Defense, uh, who at that time was, uh, I have it right here, uh, Secretary Rumsfeld. Rumsfeld was the Secretary of the Navy. He went into him and he said, uh, Mr. Secretary, I'd like to name this new facility out here near the uh, Great Lakes facility, uh, the James A. Lovell Federal Health Care Center. And Rumsfeld looked at him and said, uh, is he dead? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and <laughs> Mark said, no, 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 he's not dead. We only named government facilities after dead people. 
And so, so Mark walked out. Uh, uh, and, uh, 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 and then, but Lonzo was changed because then we had Bob Gates come in as the Secretary of Defense. So uh, 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 Mark Kirk went back to Bob Gates and said, Mr. Secretary, we'd, I'd like to name this facility after uh, uh, an astronaut, James Lovell. You know, the facility is really pioneering in what we're doing here, and the space program was pioneering, and that's how it got started. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm still not dead yet. So. <laughs>